Picture this. You're playing Super Mario Brothers for the hundredth time and you're about to beat the stage when... Now you're playing Ninja Gaiden. You think to yourself, oh, this is a surprise. But you keep playing because Ninja Gaiden is awesome. All of a sudden... Now you're playing Micro Machines. And before you have time to process what's happening... Now it's... Barbie. This is the BizHawk Shuffler 2, a script created by the renowned speedrunners Brosentia and Author Blues. The BizHawk emulator is commonly used by the speedrunning crowd, but it functions just like any other emulator. Until you add the Shuffler. I can't describe the amount of stress using this program has caused me. I had to think about every move I made and question all my instincts. Do I try to make this jump here? How many enemies do I leave on screen? Where did I leave that power up? It's insane how differently you take on these games when you never know how it's going to affect you the next time it comes up. I've died so many times from falling in pits over and over and over because of timing that I lost count. The fear of the turbo tunnel using the shuffler is enough to bring any gamer to their knees. If you're looking for a new challenge for your NES games, you have to try this out. Oh, did I say NES games? Nah, this thing will play it all! Super Nintendo, Genesis, N64, Game Boy Advance, Neo Geo Pocket, the BizHawk emulator pretty much has you covered. So how does this work? Basically your games are set to play on a timer. At the end of that timer, a save state is created, then a state is loaded from a different game. This process is repeated until all the games are completed. You can control how often the games switch, if they appear in random order or a fixed order, and you can even include a countdown timer to appear before your game switches. The only input you need to give the emulator is when you finish the game by pressing a hotkey. Once you complete a game, it is removed from the shuffler. Excited yet? Let me show you how to set this up. I'll put a link to everything you need in the description below. First you need to download the BizHawk emulator, BizHawk shuffler, and if you're on Windows, a prerequisite install. The emulator must be version 2.6.2 and make sure you get the shuffler 2. First install the prerequisite. When the box pops up, click OK. Once you get the completed message, click Close. Open up your BizHawk folder. Take the Shuffler folder and drag it directly into that directory. Open the emulator by clicking this EXE. Go to the Tools tab and to the LUA console. Click the folder icon. Navigate to the Shuffler folder and click Shuffler.LUA. You may get an error saying that you need to use the LUA interface core. Go back to the emulator and click Config, Customize, go to the Advanced tab, and make sure that LUA plus LUA interface is marked. Then click OK. Restart the emulator and do the same thing. Tools, LUA Console, Folder, Shuffler. And now the BizHawk Shuffler version 2 setup box appears. What the setup did was create a new directory in your Shuffler folder called Games. Any games placed in this folder will be a part of the rotation. Oh yeah, you can mix systems too, so go nuts. You can select what options you want at this point like changing the min-max swap time, or adding plugins like the timer I mentioned before. Click the Choose a Plugin dropdown, and select Countdown to Swap. Hit select, and make sure the enabled box is checked. You can choose how many seconds in advance you want notice before the swap. Then hit save and close. Once you're all done, click start new session and you're good to go. If you want to stream this emulator to your audience, the shuffler actually gives you output information. These documents tell you how many games you completed, what game you're currently playing, how many swaps have happened, and how much time you've played. You would just add these into OBS as a text document, and the end product looks something like this. I've put a link in the description to an FAQ that can hopefully help you out if you have any questions. Huge thank you to Brosentia and Author Blues and anybody else involved with the project. It really is a fun way to get back into these old games that we grew up with. And that's it for me. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.